Okay, I just got the alert. Okay. You can go ahead and uh, start it up right, when I get the scriptures. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, Kaka. Okay, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, Kaka, go ahead. I, you can start it up. All right, so long. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekab Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the Akin. Teach about the mind wide mouth. That's a sincerity and truth. It's the brother Yatazak from Great Millstone, Dallas, and I got Atazawan from Great Millstone, Wisconsin. And we, uh, uh, spirit being honest, man, to, 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 to introduce the world to Yahweh Shai, you know, and it's to the point now to where, um, we, we, we all have something going in Matthew, and we also have, um, um, with, with, with Matthew, we're actually going chapter by chapter through the Spirit, and we also are going into the parables of Yahweh Shai and showing the dynamic of how Yahweh Shai was speaking in the Spirit, and people weren't understanding it. But the people that were in the same Spirit, in a like-minded Spirit, was getting him loud and clear. You see? Right. Showing you the distinction between the one-third the elect of the nation of Israel versus the two-thirds of Israel. You know what I'm saying? So on and so forth. You know, and the the, the, the first lesson, the first lesson was um uh, um uh, about the sword, the parable of the sword. Right? Uh -huh. And we went into how once you hear this truth, there's certain things that can happen to you. Either you're gonna get it or you're not. So now what we want to focus on is John chapter six, right? When the Lord was telling the people that he was the bread from heaven and that they had to eat his flesh and drink his blood to receive eternal life and how and how he defended them. Right? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the story, you're going to see who he walked away with. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you want to go ahead and say something before we get started? Oh, uh, no. Well, yeah, like like the uh, elder was saying, hey, that one, that's why you can understand why the scripture says, he that have an ear, let him hear. Okay. He that have an ear, let him hear, meaning those that the Lord basically gave that wisdom and knowledge to understand it too, okay? That they can be able to actually understand this book, okay? And, and, and only Yahweh, all right, who gave the men to his son, Yahweh Shai, can understand this book. Everybody can understand it, okay? That's what that's what we going to get understood with these parables. But um, go ahead. I want me to start from um, John 6 and... We're going to start from the beginning, uh, 50, verse 52. I can barely hear you, bro. I don't know what's going on. I got my volume up high as it can go. Yeah, mine is high as well. It's probably Satan. I, ju I just got done doing a live show about 35 minutes ago. Uh, Let me see. I'm going to have to give you. Uh... I mean, I can hear you. I can hear you on here. Can you hear me? That's what I'm saying. It sounds like you far away. Got my in call volume up. I got the phone on here. Got my Bluetooth. I mean, I can hear you. Bluetooth. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like you far away. Hold on one second. Let me see something. Hello? Say something? Yep, I can hear you. Oh, okay. I can hear you loud and clear now. I turned off that Bluetooth. Okay, contact. Kind of, kind of, that's what it was. Yeah, the Bluetooth was messing with my volume. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's rock. All right, where you uh, where you want me to start from, Mark? Um, around 30, 32. 32. Okay, yep, kind of. Um, all right, this is John 6 and 32. Then Yahweh shall said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my father giveth you the true bread from heaven. Right, and the, he he was referring to himself as the true bread from heaven, right? Because right. if you have a thorough understanding of the scriptures, you understand that um his body, which was the bread, represents truth. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And the wine represents the affliction. Once you come into the truth, according to Lamentations chapter four, go ahead. For the bread of of the Most High is He which cometh down from heaven. And giveth life unto the world. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. 
And Yahweh Shai said unto them, I am the bread of life. Mm -hmm. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on, on me shall never thirst. That's what I'm saying. Now, was he lying right there? Uh -uh. Nope. You know what I'm saying? Speaking through the spirit, he was telling the truth. Yep. You see? But that carnal mind is enmity with the heavenly father. So when a carnal when a carnal mind hears something like that, they they don't they mind don't take the end. Well, okay, well maybe I need to study, or maybe I need to get this broke down, or maybe I need to see what this word. You know what I'm saying? God. They never even try to figure out the proverb. They yeah. just roll with it and be like, "Nah, man, I say keep on reading." Good. It says, "But I, but but I said unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not." <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He telling you, he said, you, you seeing me, you don't believe me. You, you asked me if I was the son of the most high. I said, yeah, but you don't believe me. You don't believe me according to the works. You don't believe me because of what I'm saying. You don't believe me because of the scrolls. So you're going to die in your sins. Right. It's been presented. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. Go ahead. For I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. That's what I'm saying. He's being very specific. Very specific. It ain't about me. It's about my father. The whole, this whole, the, every conversation we've had is about what my father told me to come down here and do. Nope. Y'all the ones that ain't getting it. But on the same side, he had, he had the disciples rolling with him. All kind of believers all over the place. You see what I'm saying? So you're going to have people that's going to believe and you're going to have people that's not going to believe, but it's going to be according to the spirit. Right. Go ahead. It says, um, <clears throat> and this is the Father's will, which has sent me, that of all which he had given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. That's what I'm saying. The Lord is telling him. He's like, look, man, the Lord sent me on a mission. I'm yep. here to do that mission. Right. Y'all read the scrolls. Y'all know somebody coming. I'm yep. here. <laughs> yep. I'm here. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like he was trying to hide it and sugarcoat it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No, he was telling them straight up what it was. Every time they asked him a question, he answered it. He gave now, if you don't point. like the answer, that's your problem. Yep. You know? You got it. Kellen, it says, well, I want to um, jump real quick, because you know in Habakkuk, when it tells you um, real quick, it says it was plain it was plain um Hold on, let me get it. Let me just get it. Let me get it real quick. Habakkuk, what is that, 2? Right, and Habakkuk 2 says this. It says, um, Habakkuk 2 and 2, it says, And the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables. That's what I'm saying. And making it plain upon tables is talking about breaking down the scriptures. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Study to show thyself approved. Blessed is he that read it. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. That's right. You see? And yep. those readings lead you to studying more. And it be eventually it becomes addictive. Yep. You know? Pleasing the Heavenly Father is addicted. Yahweh Shai was addicted to pleasing Yahweh. That's right. Okay? And we have to be in that same stead, man. That's right. Here it is, the Lord done promised us all these things, delivered us from all these situations, and he still can't get his he still can't get his praise. Hmm. So he sent his son. He sent Yahweh Shai to show them, son, hmm. show them how to worship me. Yep. Show them how to obey me. Yep. And you know what Yahweh Shai said? He said, Con out of one, and he did just that. Yep. And his mission, what did he tell his, his own uh physical uh, parents, biological father and parents? Uh, yep. I'm here for my father's business. You know, you know what I'm saying, and that went over Mary head because she should have known better. Yep, because she, she should have known friends. better. That's right. Here it is, an angel done came to both of y'all, and you come on now. <laughs> 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 but you see, the, the, but but that's what I'm saying. That's why we harping on this thing because you have to see the spiritual aspect of what's <laughs> being said through the scriptures. That's right. All right, you know what I'm saying. That's just like uh John ten and six. That's what sparked John. Matter of fact, get John ten and six real quick. Because that's what because that's what sparked that's what sparked this lesson. This is John 10, verse 6. This parable spake Yahweh shine to them, but they understood not what the what things they were which he spake unto them. 
That's what I'm saying, man. Because he wasn't saying nothing that didn't come out the scriptures. Yep. But they claim they knew the scriptures. They didn't understand what he was talking about because he was speaking through the spirit. Yep. And they was being carnal. That's right. And you see the same thing today, man. Yep. Same you know? Thing. You got it. Yep. So that's why I brought out that at Habakkuk 2, and I'm a precept it. Habakkuk 2 and 2. And the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables. All right. That's what I'm saying. Write the vision and make it plain upon tables. That's prophecy, man. That's right. The spirit of the Lord is a spirit of prophecy. That's right. Go ahead. That he may run that readeth it. And and now hold on before I jump to what I was gonna say. This is Proverbs 8 and 9. They are all plain unto him that understandeth and the right to them that find knowledge. Okay. Man. So the one that's really gonna understand this that's made it plain upon the tables is the ones that have that understanding. Okay, and Yahweh gave it to Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai gave it to his uh, disciples, the prophets, which was the Holy Spirit, which was the comforter. Okay, that's why the world couldn't really receive it. Okay, now going that's back right. to God, Salat, go ahead. No, I was saying that's right. Okay, now going back to John 10 and 6, this parable spake Yahweh Shai to them, but they understood not. What things they were which he spake unto them. Why? Because it wasn't given unto them. It was given unto the men of the Lord, the prophets at this uh time period now. Okay. Yep, I'll say get uh get uh Matthew 13 and 9. That's right. Yep, yep, Matthew 13 and 9. I will say I think the precept of that is in Mark 4. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know what I'm saying? It was a prayer, it was a prayer for people to uh, uh for, for people's ears to be made fat so that they can hear and not perceive and so that they can see. That's and right. not perceive, man. That's right. This is Matthew 13 and 9. Who has ears to hear, let him hear. That's what I'm saying. And when you look up that word here, when you look up that word here, it goes into understanding. Yep. You know what I'm saying? If you I want to say if the Lord made it to where you can't hear, he made you dull of understanding, man. So you're not gonna understand the words that's being spoken by his holy prophets. That's right. He shared his secrets with the prophets, not everybody. That's right. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get that word here real quick for you. Come on. See here. Mm. This is the root word. Akeo. Strong's G one ninety one. Akuo. 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 Okay. Which means to be endowed with the faculty of hearing. Not deaf. Okay, that's the physical aspect. Let's get to the spirit. Mm -hmm. To understand, perceive, okay, the sense of what is said. To that's what I'm saying, bro. So, to perceive the sense of what is said, right. right? If you can't perceive the sense of what is said, you're going to look crazy, man. Right. Right? That's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. The Heavenly Father, I will say the Heavenly Father don't allow cannibalism. God. It ain't no pre. It ain't no precept to say thou shalt not eat flesh. God. You see? But when it go into the dietary law and tell you about the, the beasts of the field that you can eat, are people on it? That's right. So we're going to keep reading after we get this definition. You know what I'm saying? It right. says to comprehend, to understand, yep. to give ear to the yep. teaching or to the teacher. That's right. right. It says the thing comes from one's ear, uh, one's ears to find, to learn. You learn with your ears, right? Because you understand what's going on. That's right. Be, be ye a hearer of the word. And then it turns you into a doer of the word. That's right. All right? If, if, you know what I'm saying? If the spirit is dealing with you, man. Because yeah. the people on these coming, boys, they reading the same Bible we read. That's right. All right? You got it. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to, uh, what, what was we just said? Uh, let's go back to Matthew. Matthew. 13, Con Con. It's Matthew 13 and 9. So we just looked up here. All right? Exit out. And the, Matthew 13 and 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But unto them it is not given. That's what I'm saying. That's plain and simple, man. Plain. That's plain and simple. So when the word, that's what I'm saying. And that's why it's only one doctrine, one faith, one baptism, man. Because right. when you cast that net out, when you cast that net out, you're going to bring back some good. You're going to bring back some bad. That's right. Perfect balance. 
And that same thing is going on in Mark chapter four. He said he was given to you, not them. Right. And then after he said, and after he said that, he proceeded to break down the parable so that they could have that thorough understanding. And they took that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and they passed it on, man. Right. Disciples was being added unto the to the uh, to the Lord on a daily basis, man. Yep. Just like today. Right. John chapter seventeen, verse twenty. You know what I'm saying? It said that it's gonna be. Men, uh, men that's gonna be delivered through the word of the prophets, man, and that's the same word that Yahweh Shah gave to them, man. They didn't, they didn't deviate, they didn't change it, they didn't wing it, they didn't bitch up. Okay, y'all have been them same niggas that were the free Barabbas because you thought the Lord was talking about cannibalism, you dummies. Right. You got it. All right, let me just jump into this real quick. Revelations one and three. Blessed is he that readeth. Because the elder blessed, said that blessed they Blessed is he that readeth, man. You got to read to be blessed. Your Bible can't be collected dust and you just winning. Right. Go ahead. It says, blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Now, I want to just jump on and says that blessed is he that readeth. But when you think about it, everybody reads the scriptures. Okay, so let's go into that word readeth, right? God. And it says uh anagonasco, okay, and it means to distinguish between, to recognize, to know accurately, okay, to acknowledge rightly, di to rightly dividing the word of truth, bro. You no, know, that's it. <laughs> so that's it's more deeper than the, uh just reading, it's on a spiritual level. Those that the uh Yahweh gave Yahweh Shai, which he gave him the prophets, and now we have it now today. Hey, right. can you look up? Can you look up the word "blessed" right quick? Blessed, con con. Blessed. Okay. Uh, let's see. My creosos language can tap on the word. Uh, happy, blessed, happier, fortunate, well off. Uh, All right, scroll, scroll down a little bit. Con -con. All right, because I remember the Apostle Tahar went in. Uh, uh, Apostle Elder Tahar went into how uh, being blessed goes into people bowing down and worshiping you too. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, but with 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 being blessed, having people bowing down and 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 and, and worshiping you, lets you know that you're gonna be in rulership. In rulership, con. You see what I'm saying? But it, yeah. it starts with reading. Con. All right. Let's go back to John. Con, con. I got about 15 to 18 minutes to kill. All right. Okay. Now, back in John. <coughs> it's like it. You know what? Let me. I'm going to have it on the screen. But let me read it actually on my paper. Okay, this is John uh, 6 and 48, 38, Salakia. For I came down from heaven, not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father, Father's will, which he sent me, that of all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. Mm -hmm. And this is the will of him that sent me. That every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life. That's what I'm saying. That's plain. That's plain. You see? But the men that had ears to hear, they understood that they could achieve eternal life through believing on the Son of the Heavenly Father. That's right. And they were surrounded by people that felt otherwise. Yep. You see? But the Lord didn't change up his word. He didn't change up his doctrine. He just spoke it to who he knew was going to get it. Yep. The Lord is going to tell you. Keep reading. Yep. And I will raise him up at the last day. <coughs> then the Jews then murmured him because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. That's what I'm saying. So instead of them, instead of them be like, well, Lord, I don't understand that. Can you break that down for me? Can you, you know what I'm saying? Can you put that in the lamest terms? It was already set up in the spirit for them to not get it and buck up and murmur. That's right. Go ahead. And they said, is not this Yahweh, the son of Joseph? Nigga, I know your daddy. 
<laughs> right. The yep. hell you talking about? You came from heaven, nigga. Please. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Whose father and mother we know? <laughs> How is it then that he said, "I came down from heaven"? That's what I'm saying. But you had this thing called being born of the Holy Spirit, right? Right. Get up. Uh, get up. Uh, Jeremiah one and five, real quick. That's right. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Because if the Lord, if the Lord already knew you before you was formed in the womb. That's right. That's right. You see, <laughs> the Lord knew you before He formed you in the womb. It's plain to them to have understanding. So it really don't matter. It really don't matter who your parents are. Exactly. Let me the Lord had plans for you. Yep. You see, so you can know my mom name Renee, my pop's name Mike. You can know them all you want to, man. Yep. But if the Heavenly Father chose me from the foundation of the heaven of the earth, my parents' name could have been Joe and Betty. It wouldn't make a difference. Yep. It's about the spirit that the Lord that the Lord is dealing with, man. He chose, yeah, he chose the vessels for them to come out of because that's his will. Right. You got it. Yep. This is uh, Jeremiah one and five. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Mm hmm. So you said yeah. that's what, so. That's what I'm saying. Yahweh knew Yahweh shy before Mary and Joseph was even a thought. That's right. So, so it don't matter if you know my parents, nigga. I told you my heavenly father sent me. I didn't say nothing about Joseph. See y'all, yeah. they was thinking Joseph. <laughs> right. <laughs> they was thinking Joseph. Went over there. They should have. But that's what I'm saying. They was thinking Joseph, but Peter and the disciples was thinking Yahweh. Yep. And that was the difference between them. Go ahead. Okay, yeah, it says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. All That's right? what I'm saying. I made you holy. I made you holy before I even put you in the womb. That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So my parents could be straight up demons. If the Lord chose me to do what he's going to do with me and make me, it is what it is. That's right. And Ka Halal right. Yahweh Bashim, I was shy for that because he could have made me an ashtray. He could have made me a toilet. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Before I'm just I saying. Hey, Jeremiah 1 and 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest out, camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. That's right. That's you it. know what I'm saying? And can't nobody do nothing about that. Go That's ahead. Right. Let's go back to John. Yep. Okay, I want to just get this real quick. This is uh, what is Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 27. And being uh -huh. the one, she can do all things. Talking about the Holy Spirit, the breath of life, which is the truth, the comforter. And remaining in herself, she make of all things new. And in all ages, entering into holy souls, she make of them friends of the Most High and prophets. So the Lord puts that spirit on whoever He want in different ages, man. Okay, that's right. He already knew him from the jump. It ain't matter. It don't matter what the flesh is. It's where He gave that spirit to that righteous that that, that Holy Spirit to. Okay, and that's Bro, the Most High. You remember when? You remember when the Most High made that donkey talk? Say it again. I, I, I forgot who. Uh, I forgot who it was, but the the Most High made a donkey speak the truth. Uh, it was, was it in um? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so he can, sure. so he can make a donkey. He can make a donkey tell you something, but he can't choose his prophets whenever he f see fit. Right. Come on, dog. Man, Let's go. No <laughs> level. You know. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. That carnality, man. Go I'm, ahead. We'll get him cute. Hey, this is John uh, six and forty three. Yahweh shall therefore answer and said unto them, Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me except the Father, which has sent me. Mm -hmm. And I will raise him up at the last day. Yeah, he said, he said, you can murmur all you want to, man. Ain't no use all that. My Father sent me to gather up the elect of the nation of Israel and eventually the whole nation of Israel. And that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It ain't my fault you don't get it, bro. Because yeah. every time they said something, he said something back. Yeah. He responded. Go ahead. It says, um, it is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of the most high. 
It is written in the prophets. That's what I'm saying. He went back to the scrolls. Keep on cutting. He cut. Hey, man, Yahweh, what the, what the churches don't understand, Yahweh <laughs> was cutting the shit out of them. Man. He was cutting the living hell out of them. That's why they was offended. That's why yep. they wanted to stone them. Okay? He was really, he was like, uh, the Hebrews, uh, was that, 4 and 12? Yep. Uh, out of the, uh, uh, it. You know? Hey man, yeah, I wish I was a bad man, man. He is. Yeah, he is. God, it's a lot. He is. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he ain't going nowhere. Yeah, he is. He, is. he, is. he, is. he all up and through this thing. That's right. <laughs> you got yeah. it. Okay. It says, um, I'm gonna read that again. It is written in the prophets, and they and they shall be all taught of the most high. Every man, therefore, that hath heard and hath heard, learned of the Father, cometh unto me. Not that any man hath seen the Father, save he which is of the most high or the power, he hath seen the Father. Mm -hmm. verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath, hath eternal life. That's what I'm saying. I'm telling you the truth, man. I'm telling you, whether you believe me or not, verily, verily, me, I'm telling you the truth. Yep. It's the, this is the only way. This is the only way. If it was another way, I I tell you it was another way. Yes, the but my way. father told me to tell you that this is the only way. Go ahead. I am the bread of life. <laughs> I am the bread of life. Right? Go ahead. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. That's what I'm saying. They ate that manna in the <laughs> wilderness and they passed. They ended up passing. They ended up passing in the wilderness. But that's what I'm saying. If you eat the bread of life, which is what I'm trying to give you, you'll never die. Why? Because the understanding of what was pleasing to the Heavenly Father is going to take away sin. You conquer death through your high with right. And that's what he's telling them. Right. But it wasn't meant for them to get it because it was a crowd of people. Some right. believed it, some didn't. It right. wasn't up to him who believed and who didn't. He right. just already knew that it was going to be people who believed and people who didn't. Right. You got it. It says, um, really, really, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath ever turned in life. I am the bread of life. Your father did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die. Mm -hmm. and, and he was speaking about, about himself, which was already established. But when we eat off of Yahweh, we were going to be into eternal life, man. All right, those that believe in Yahweh Bashim Shai, we was gonna seek the kingdom of heaven, okay, which is eternal life. All right. That's right. It says, I am the living bread. Hey, well, going back, I want to say this real quick, going back to what the elder has said, um, how it, it, it he just he just told it to the multitude, those that believe, those that didn't. It's just like the same thing we're doing now. You see all these bug outs that so-called came into the truth and they left out. Those are the ones that are applying to. When it says that many of his disciples fell back, you know, right? How was I said, gather, gather bad and good, okay? So just throw out the net, and that's what we did. We just threw out the net, okay? And those that the, the, the bad is going to eventually go wash up uh, uh, onto shore. We're going to collect the bad and and put put the good in one bucket. If you ever been fishing, put the good in one bucket and all the bad. You examine it, all right, and then you throw that shit back into the ocean, and that's what's going on. You know, God. Verse fifty-one: I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. No, oh, now it's gonna get sticky. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now keep in mind when you start reading at the top of this chapter, he fed five thousand people. Mm -hmm. right? That's right? He fed five thousand people. So that's the congregation when he's going into this parable. Right. Keep going. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Yahweh Shai said unto them, You see how corner they was being. They was like, shit, it's five thousand of us out here. We can't all eat you. <laughs> that ain't what he was talking about. That's what he was talking about. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> then Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man. And drink his blood, ye have no life in you. 
That's what I'm saying. So unless you unless you come into the full understanding of what's pleasing to the Heavenly Father yep. and be willing to deal with the tribulation that comes along with it, mm -hmm. he ain't dealing with you. He ain't dealing with you. That's what the Lord is saying. Exactly. If you ain't willing to get into this word and share this world and to say the hell with this place, you know what I'm saying, and to be able to catch that hell and be persecuted, if you're not willing to do that, the Lord ain't worried about you. That's right. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to get that precept real quick. This is Matthew 19 and 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, what have we have forsaken all and followed thee? What shall we have there, there, therefore? And Yahweh said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which follow me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, he also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And check this out. Morning. He said, <laughs> he told him, he said, he said, what are we going to get? He said, in the regeneration, you're going to get this, 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 and this. Now, he just promised them eternal life. Yep. But all of them died. Yep. Did they say no? Same they said, come out of one. Where else we going to go? That's right. We're going we going with you. Follow the lamb whithersoever he going. He ever going. That's right. You got it, brother. And that's, in, and that's even through the regeneration. That's why. Exactly. That's why wisdom of Solomon is going to enter in each soul, each ages. Okay, yep. he said in ages. All right, the, the Holy Spirit is going to enter in, into ages, entering into the holy souls, man. So in a regeneration, those men is going to come back in the same lot is going to get it, and when it's all said and done, they're going to get that promise, man. And That's we're right. at the last end of it. We're going to get that promise. Okay. So this is what he said. Uh, verse 29, and everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or fathers or mothers or wife or children or land for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Which he That's was what I'm saying. So if, you're willing, so if you're willing to come out of the world, you can have everlasting life. That's it. Because all those things that you just named attach you to the world. <coughs> That's right. Go ahead. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Yeah. I'm going to go back. That's All right, good. I got seven minutes. Con -con. Okay, verse uh, 54. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. That's oh, mm -hmm. like, like we were saying earlier. In yeah. the laws, in the, when, you go, when you go to Deuteronomy 11 and Leviticus 14, and you look up the laws of what we can and can't eat, yep. human flesh is not on the things that we can eat. So therefore, you can't do it. That's right. So Lord, the Lord, wasn't, that, that's what I'm saying. The Lord never sinned in that flesh. So why would he tell you to do something wicked to, uh, to, to receive eternal life? So you have to get an understanding of what he's talking about. That's right. Like when, and, and that's what I'm saying. According to the scriptures, the bread represents the truth and the wine represents the affliction when you come in the truth, man. Right. Go ahead. And that's all he was breaking down to him, you know. That's Verse right. 55, For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. Mm -hmm. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. That's what I'm saying. They think, but that's what I'm saying. They thinking that he going to kill himself so they can eat it. No, man. Go ahead. As the living Father has sent me, I live by the Father. So he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. That's what I'm saying. So you have the difference between spiritual bread and carnal bread. Yep. The spiritual bread leads to eternal life. The carnal yep. bread don't. Exactly. It's just that. Go ahead. Just real quick. You got it. Matthew four and four. It's a lot. Matthew four and four. But he answered and said, "It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High." And that's this word. Okay. That's right. All right, verse 59. These things said he into in the synagogue as he taught in uh, Capernaum. Many, therefore, of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, This said, This is a hard saying. Who can hear it? That's what I'm saying. Offended by the word, man. That's right. Offended by the word. You admit it's a hard saying, you know. 
and that, and that's why you see dudes that come out, man. That's why you see dudes that fall out. Go ahead. When Yahweh Shai knew it himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, "Does this offend you? What? What? And if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before, it is the Spirit that quickeneth; the flesh profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are Spirit, they are life." That's what I'm saying. He was talking about the scriptures. <laughs> he was talking about the scriptures. Though. He said, "Like he was like, look, I know it's going over your head." But if you can receive it, if you have the urge to heal, you understand that I'm offering you eternal life from the Heavenly Father, man. That's right. You see? But they were so caught up in their own carnality that they missed the boat. They missed it. Go ahead. But there are some of you that believe not. Yahweh Shai knew from the beginning who they were that believed not. And who That's what I'm saying. He, he already knew that. It was already set up in the spirit. That's why he presented it the way he presented it. Because some people were supposed to get it and some people wasn't. That's right. Go ahead. And he said, therefore, said unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. From that right. time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. And he already knew that that was coming. So yep. keep reading. Then said Yahweh Shai unto the twelve, will, <laughs> will he also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that thou art the, that, so like it, that thou art that Hamashiach, the son of the living power. Yahweh Shai answered them, have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he, for he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. You see, so at the end of the day, at the end of the day, man, the Lord already knew who was riding and who wasn't. That's right. You see, and he was that was he was talking about. He was that was the, he he went into a parable. He yeah. went into a parable to cause division, man. That's right. Somebody got to divide up the one third from the two third. Ain't ain't that division? That's right. Ain't one third and two third. Ain't that division? When it comes to math, which represents truth, a moth. A moth. Come on, man. So the Lord, the Lord said, "I come to bring division." So yeah, He gonna true. separate the one third from the two third, and it's gonna be ugly. It's not gonna be pretty. That's right. But that's what I'm saying. Uh, read, read, uh, 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 John 10 and 6, and then we can go ahead and close it out. Okay, come, come. John 10, verse 6. This parable spake Yahweh shot into, so like John 10 and 6. This parable spake Yahweh shot unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. That's what I'm saying. That's it, and that's all, you know. And with that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the Akin teaching about the.